What's going on, you guys? It's 1122 Wingnut Radio out here again today. Um, I know my shop kind of looks a little messy right at the moment. Half of it's my fault, or actually most of it's my fault. But then there's my dogs. My little freaking monsters that want to break into my shop and, and everything else around my stuff and chew it up. But anyway, that's not what I wanted to gripe about. I have a gripe. See, I, I, I do welding. Now, that's one of my uh, trades. Uh, but um, one of my gripes are these things. This headgear stuff. Every piece of headgear that I've actually come across, except for like some really insanely expensive shit, but even then, I, I don't know. I don't really get into the really insane expensive stuff. But anyway... My main gripe is these ratchets, all right? All this inner freaking uh, gear crap when it comes down to this ratchet is plastic, like this shit, this kind of plastic. It, it never fails. After a little while, I can't ratchet down on this thing and make it any tighter, you know, because the gears get all stripped real easy. You know, just use. Now, I've, I've had all kinds of stuff, all kinds of different, you know, helmets or, or hoods or whatever. Here's another one of mine. Um, but the thing is, man, it's always this that fails first. Well, with constant use anyway. Well, anyway, I'm just like, that's my gripe. You know... Even though some of these are not very expensive uh, hoods, I really haven't found one that this thing will put up to the test of constant hard use of, you know, always flipping up, you know, getting in and out of it, using this thing a lot, you know what I mean? And I'm talking about not in a, in a short time, a lot of use in a short time, um... You know, because I, I got, a, actually, I got a brand new one just recently, and that's the first thing that's going, is that ratchet part of the hood. So, for all you manufacturers out there for this kind of stuff, for the average, you know, working Joe that really can't afford a lot, it would be really nice if these things, we didn't have to go out and purchase all the goddamn time, you know, a new headgear for these things, or whatever, because this thing goes to failing, you know, it'd be nice to have something that was actually quality made, that would last for a while, whatever happened to that shit, that, 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 that idea of building something that's quality made, that will last you for a long time, instead of this crap that tends to fail, really short periods of time and then you know you're out purchasing another one i mean sometimes it's even it's not even worth going out and trying to get another one of these things you know sometimes it's almost uh better off just getting a whole nother thing these companies can depend on that mentality and that's crap you know what i mean i liked it back in the day when things were built to last not just to, uh, so they can create more revenue by, uh, creating crap, you know, cheap crap that's actually, you know, really let, you know, uh, that it, all it is is just, you know, so you can just go out and buy another one because it's so cheap to buy in the first place. If it breaks, you just go buy another one, you know, well shit, you know, I want to have something that's, you know, not too expensive, but well quality made and, uh. This cheap plastic as the, actually the gears or the, uh, the you know, the, the teeth of the gear is not, is not quality. It's, uh, it's actually shit because those, that, that cheap plastic, after a few times, man, next thing you know, it's the gears strip. And, uh, but anyway, that's my gripe for today. It's the 1122 Wingnut Radio out here just, uh, I don't know. Bitching and moaning about some, and hopefully the companies out there that actually, uh, or people that uh, are involved in 
these type of uh, manufacturing type of stuff will actually listen to, like, uh, you know, uh, a gripe that, that uh, somebody that uses these products would have to say. Anyway, double one, double two, wingnut radio out here for Anarchy Television. I'm back out.